Alright, so today I'm going to be replacing the flywheel brake on this Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine. It's on a John Deere 14SZ, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So there's three clips on this cover right here. You just take a flathead screwdriver and pry it off. So now we have three bolts to remove up here, and then there's another one. There's another one right down there. Keep in mind, you are going to be removing the gas tank as well, so make sure you're not leaking any fuel out of your fuel lines when you do this. Okay, so I got all the bolts out. This one was a 3A drive socket, or a 3A socket, and these were uh, an 8mm socket. As you can see, it's loose now. Remember, that you're going to be pulling on the fuel line because this is all this fuel tank is all one unit so just keep that in mind now we got to remove those two bolts right there and these two and then we'll be able to get that cover off because the part we're replacing is right here and when you do pull this cover off, keep in mind it's going to pull the oil dipstick tube out with it. So maybe you, you might want to clean the area around that so you don't get any junk in the engine. Okay. I got all of those bolts out that hold the metal shroud in place. And I used a 3 8 socket on those as well. So now... This assembly is loose, and the first thing I'm going to do is pull out the dipstick tube. And I'm going to put this out of the way. Okay, and that should be good enough for what we need to do. As you can see, that brake pad is pretty worn down, so we need to disconnect this cable and we need to undo these two these two bolts right here to get this off there's also a wire going around that that has to be disconnected all right so I did have to disconnect the throttle cable um, to be able to get it out of that part because uh, the opening on top isn't big enough for it to squeeze through, so you actually have to disconnect the cable. And to do that, you just unbolt it from here, and then uh, pull the linkage out from that hole right there. Alright, there's the old one. It's off. It has two 8mm bolts holding it on. And here's the new one. Yeah, it seems like it'll fit. Okay, so the new part is on. The only thing it's missing is this part right here uh, that the throttle cable goes through. So that's just going to be hanging there now, I guess, because this one doesn't have that. But other than that, it's pretty similar. Wire's hooked up. There's just a little hole on that plastic part that it goes through. And when you engage the engine lever, it disconnects, and when you let go, it reconnects and it stops the engine. And then this is another type of switch that some other lawnmowers use. So. Alright, now I'm going to get the uh, engine lever cable through this hole, and I'm going to hook it up. Okay, so there's a bit of a fitment issue here. As you can see, that hole isn't quite lining up. Alright, so we have a bit of a fitment issue happening right now. As you can see, that hole isn't lining up. And that's because this doesn't fit perfectly. Um, it was probably meant for a newer Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine. But we'll make it work. Alright, so I went ahead and ran the throttle cable through there, 
I just wanted to keep it away from the muffler, honestly. Uh, but I think that'll work just fine. As you can see, it's hooked back up. So now I'm going to start putting the bolts back in the uh, metal shroud, and then I'm going to put this back on. Make sure you get the uh, dipstick tube lined up properly as well. And also make sure that wire isn't hitting the metal shroud. Don't forget the little spacer here when you're putting the or this bottom bolt in down there. You can just uh, do the reverse of the taking it apart process and you'll be good to go.